In our opening superbike round at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, Kawasaki's Jordan Zoak started from the pits and staged an epic come-from-behind charge to take an unprecedented victory. Can he make it four in a row at Old Mosport? everyone and welcome to Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Welcome to the fourth race of the 2020 CSBK season. Jordan Zoke has won the first three races of the season but this weekend the story has been Samuel Garan as the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers proudly present CSBK for 2020. Brought to you by Suzuki Way of Life. Yamaha revs your heart and BMW Motorrad, make life a ride. Our field out on their single warm-up lap, and for once here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park in 2020, no real drama. We've had just crazy warm-up laps with front runners crashing and people switching motorcycles and dogs and cats living together. It's been amazing, Frank. Here we see the front qualifiers. Elliot Vieira showing very well on his Yamaha R6600. Jordan Zoke on pole from Leon Garin and Kenny Reedman, who's filling in for Trevor Daly, who is on quarantine due to COVID concerns. And the riders have completed their warm-up lap. They're choosing their uh, starting blocks right now. And uh, Colin, as we were uh, watching them make their way around for this warm-up lap, I couldn't help but notice there's a bit of blue in the sky today. Well, I think one of the concerns we have, Frank, is we've had a lot of rain issues in the pro races so far today. This is our third pro race of, of the day and these are definitely threatening skies so we'll see what happens. There's definitely is some urgency to get on with it here. IBEW lights are on all the way. The racers are watching for them to go off. They have gone off. The clutches have come out and they are accelerating briskly down into turn number one. Zoak has the race. No he doesn't. He doesn't. Michael Leon swoops around the outside and Leon has taken the race lead. Kenny Reedman into second spot. Zoak in third and Grand in fourth as they top the hill at two. And I think Elliot Vieira had a bit of a moment at the start and actually brushed the pit wall. And there's Michael Leon, who came from behind in the rain in our earlier Superbike race. Now he is solidly ahead on the Royal Distributing BMW. That's a 2020 BMW ahead of the Daily GSXR. And I think Zoak is third. Here, watch over to the left of our screen, and Elia Vera has a little bit of drama oh, against wow. sideways. It's slippery over there up against the wall, a lot of bits and pieces Just of rubber debut. I miss that entirely, watching them steam down there, but Elliot Vera not very happy with himself. Nice move by Michael Leon. Zoke was just a little boxed in, got on a bump on the inside there, and that allowed uh, Reedman Suzuki to come around on the outside. Great battle at the front, but look at Leon set and sail. Steaming down in through turn number four into Moss's corner is Michael Leon. And uh, Leon just missing out on a podium. He, he brought it home in fourth place in, in race number three. And uh, no doubt he wants to put it on the, on the podium this time. We haven't seen him on a podium since the Super Bowl uh, at uh, Atlantic Motorsport Park a few years back. Our chief protagonist in our last race from earlier today at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, Zoak and Garant are hooked up again in third and fourth. And we can expect them to start piling the pressure on the riders in front. You can see the track pretty much dry and threatening skies are a concern. Well, Garan again going to school on Zoki learned a lot in race number three, and we'll see whether he takes that knowledge to the front of the pack this time around. So we have a BMW leading right now with a Suzuki running in third and second spot. Rather, at third spot is the Kawasaki of Jordan Zoke. Good mix of brands and a good mix of riders. Fifth position is Chris Murray Odan, who's definitely a track specialist here at Old Mosport. On his BMW, he went out early in our first race of the day with a chain issue. So Leon leading now with uh, Reedman running in second spot. Now we're on board with Samuel Garan and we have passed Jordan Zoke. Oh man, Kenny Reedman comes right across the bow and shuts the door on Garan. I'm sure Samuel had intentions of gathering them up both in one pass. Let's see the replay on this. What great action. We're on board with Garan from the back and you can see he gets under Zoke. Reedman has no idea what's going on behind him. There's no mirrors on these motorcycles. And here another shot that shows you a little earlier when the move on Zoke 
played out so nicely. And what we have to say in his fourth pro superbike feature, his first season as a pro, Grant is mixing it up with the very best we have and looking like he belongs. But currently, Michael Leon, never a winner in the series, has a solid lead. I look forward to watching Grant make his progress through the ranks in his career and maybe on this day. Is it possible we'll see a pro rookie stand atop the podium at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park or this wily veteran, Michael Leon, who has been around this sport for decades and who has attracted uh, sponsorship through uh, Royal Distributing. He's been with them for over 12 years now, Colin. Yeah, and uh, I should mention, of course, Leon has lots of success in other categories in the National Tour, in pretty much all of them, but never a win in Superbike, and he would be a very popular winner. And Garan continues to keep Zoke in his wake as he sets off after uh, the Suzuki of Kenny Reedman. And I think he gathered up a bunch of distance there as he closes in on him now, heading into uh, turn number one. And he has the fastest lap of the race thus far, getting under 124. And the only rider to do so, so far, he is definitely all over Reedman now as they come down in through turn number two. Short shoot up into three. Let's go on board with the Grand for a minute. Has he got Reedman this time around? Yes, he certainly has. What a lovely move up the inside. And amazing, you know, we we're talking about Grand going to school with Zoke. He has gone to school on Reedman and he is a quick study because in cool track conditions here after a lot of rain he is lapping close to the qualifying times so Grant is getting better lap by lap and Leon has a trio of crazy people on his tail you oh, see nice. Leon just out of the seat there so he's trying as hard as he can what a great race this is shaping up to be four riders now uh, battling it out for the lead now we're not going to give one two three four as they close up on that Mario Andretti straightaway and that soft air comes into bearing and Samuel Garan has taken the race lead again he took it yesterday he couldn't hold on to it took it this time and Michael Leon is taking it but no he isn't taking it back Garan refuses to lose refuses to give up that position and as Garan leads them onto the front straightway through turn 10 we're going to take a quick break don't go away we'll be right back we are back at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park as Kenny Reedman now has passed Michael Leon. We were following Garan there leading this race, but Kenny Reedman now moving on the Suzuki up into second spot. Now we're on the Kawasaki with Jordan Zoke heading up into turn number two. We have Reedman in front of us and Michael Leon has been shunted back to fourth. Zoke making that pass on the uh, climb up the hill towards two that he's made so often, frequently for the lead, but it looks like Garan is starting to get away just a little bit on that slightly older BMW showing very well in his first season. He has been a star of action here. But look at this. Reedman obviously has a plan in mind. He's tight and he makes it work. He stays just off that major bump. Ah, he just clipped the yes. edge of the bump. But still, nice and smart move. But Leon, I think, is a little distracted and that leaves the door open. Look at this. Jordan's thinking, my passing lane is open. <laughs> this is no work at all. And there we have a great shot of the top four riders as we head back to live action here. And there's Reedman trying his best aboard that Trevor Daly Suzuki to hold off the charging Jordan Zoke, the theme of the weekend. The theme of the weekend indeed, but also the story of this weekend is the man that's leading this motorcycle race, that young man out of Quebec City on board the BMW S1000 RR. He led the uh, the race in round in race number three, and now he has the least lead in race number four, finishing second last time out. I'm sure he has a win in mind this time around. Lots of good stories here, and look at how close they are. Of course, slipstreaming so important here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. We haven't had a dry track to showcase that, but I think it's useful to see that that daily Suzuki that Reedman's using for the weekend, uh, filling in for the COVID sidelined uh, daily, is very, very close in terms of performance. Not much difference between these top four bikes, including the 2020 BMW of Leon, currently in fourth. Fastest lap so far in this race at 124.9 by Jordan Zoke. He is running in uh, third spot in behind Kenny Reedman. Have a look to the inside of turn number two. His passing lane didn't work for him that time around. Sure looked but, like uh, it would though it was close <laughs> he had enough room to get it done that's for sure but we are still relatively early in this contest so uh, no doubt uh, all of the riders really pacing himself but Garan he's got to have a smirk on his face again like he did in race number three leading a national championship superbike race in your pro rookie season and after a couple of passes that I think probably surprised him a bit Leon has uh, stabilized his performance and he's back into this and I think that there's still some fight left there so really this trip up the back straight will once again establish the pecking order to see if anybody has a horsepower edge. 
out of turn number five and making their climb up the hill. Here comes the group with uh, Goran, Samuel Goran in the race lead. Here comes Kenny Reedman. Reedman on the Suzuki right up alongside. He has cleanly made the pass and it looks like Zoko going to the inside. No, Zoko will stay in third spot, but Reedman has taken the point. I think Zoko was thinking about the inside, but maybe there was a little drama shaping up there. Let's look at the replay. So on board with the daily Suzuki, ridden so very well by Reedman. He's powering past, taking advantage of the slipstream, probably doesn't know that Jordan Zoke was really thinking about something on the inside, and of course Garan has made a couple of very daring moves on the inside of turn 8, so everybody's showing some ambition through this section of the track, and of course this could be crucial because the last laps here at Mosport frequently are filled with drama in this section we're in now, and look at this, the Suzuki back in the lead, Garan wheeling once again, he loves to wheelie, you gotta love those young guns. <laughs> Good mix of brands, of course, we got the Suzuki, then a BMW, and then a Kawasaki running one, two, three. We're on board with Jordan Zook on that Kawasaki. We move up right alongside Samuel Goran, and Goran that doesn't was like that a That's whole lot. That's really he wide. Went, that was wow. It's lucky the track got repaid. I kept waiting for him to swim, uh, sweep back in, but obviously uh, he got caught out on that one, and uh, he's lucky he's not back in fourth spot. I, actually, he may be very shortly here as Michael Leon around the outside of three now moves to the outside going into turn number four, up and over the hill, and that daunting dive down into four. And these four are closer together than they were on the grid, so this is fantastic. This is more what we're used to seeing. Of course, today at this track, it has been very difficult because of the track never being completely dry. The track's been cool, no direct sun, so the traction isn't what it was. It's nothing like yesterday in qualifying. So kudos to these guys for sorting it out, and they are putting on a show. And we are witnessing another one between Reedman and Zoke. Meanwhile, Garan has got around Leon as they make their way up now over the hill. Reedman leads into turn number eight. As usual, that trip up the Mario Andretti back straightaway yielded compression amongst our top four. Great to see Reedman and Zoke battling. Remember, just over a year ago, they had an incident with a back marker in turn eight off the back straight. So lots of drama, and we'll be back at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park for more Pro Superbike action. We are back, we are at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park and we are in the midst of a very exciting superbike race on board with Jordan Zoke right now and we are following the speed man, Kenny Reedman. Reedman aboard that work Suzuki normally piloted by Trevor Daly and earlier we spoke to Jordan Zoke who was rumored to be retiring at the end of this season. I was going to retire this year, uh, you know, if, if things went well. I thought if I win the championship this year it would force me to retire but under these circumstances the COVID and everything going on in my personal life and other things and I just I feel like I want to do a few more maybe now and I don't want to end on a year like this uh, I don't I want to I'm always about the sport too I mean I want to win everything but I want to end when there's fans you know in Mossport or something when there's 30,000 people there I don't want to end in a parking lot so I think I'll do a few more. Back on board with the 13-time champion, Jordan Zoke. Now we pull out, and the pass has been made on Kenny Reedman. We're in turn number two right now. Down the hill into two. Reedman returns the favor. He goes to the point by himself. And now, Michael Leon in third spot. What happened to Samuel Garan? We have lost. He's way off the pace here as the uh, top three riders now making their way through turn number three. And Garan is a distant fourth place. Michael Leon is on the move. Now let's see a replay there, and you can see uh, Reedman maybe just a little conservative and a little bit slidey coming out of one. Zoke takes that move, but no drama at all. But then Zoke winds up way wide. We saw Garan the same situation. Fortunate that they repaved here because they were in hot. And he leads Jordan Zoke and Michael Leon down into Moss's corner. But meanwhile, Colin, I'm wondering what has gone wrong with Samuel Garan. I think he probably just ran wide. It's easy to do. And uh, he has been a little bit excitable in his lane choices. And what I'm concerned about is he might be just slightly too far back to catch these That's, guys up. Although yeah. we saw Bodie Eady do it once. And by the way, Leon definitely had some kind of a moment there, lost a little bit of ground. Quite so. Now that has given free air now to uh, Reedman and Zoka as the, uh, these two uh, go at it. Great combatants. We've seen tremendous races uh, uh, between those two riders, and we're seeing another one today. Now down through turn number nine is Reedman leading Zoka in second spot, and Michael Leon is right there. 
there. We're about halfway, Frank, and there's really nothing in it. And I think it's impressive that Leon has battled back in. And look at that, Leon. I was right to say he's battled back in. He's turned the fastest lap. And also in the background, I don't know if you caught it, but coming on board now with Zoke as we challenge Reedman over the uh, top of the hill at turn number two. And it looks like he's got him this time around. And yes, he held indeed. his line, a little less drama to this one, but look at how close these three are. This is as close as anything we've seen. Leon looking on the outside of Reedman as we head through turn three. Well, Leon does not want to touch that back wheel of Reedman, of course, so he's overlapping a bit uh, and maintaining his position. Let's see the replay. We're on board once again with Zoke, and we've been uh, talking all the time about how this is a pass he loves. He just seems to have a little bit more confidence on the throttle coming out of one, and this time he easily picked that lineup, didn't drift uh, long up, didn't drift wide, and a nice move, but wow, are they ever close at the front here. So this has become a three-horse race, it seems, and if you don't mind me saying so, Michael Leon may be in the best seat. We've talked a number of times about the draft effect on the back straightaway, and if he can use it to his advantage, and goodness knows he's got the, the experience to be able to put it to his advantage, he just may end up winning his first national championship race here. Very interesting. Kawasaki versus Suzuki versus brand new BMW. Yeah. Not a lot to choose as Leon is working that double slipstream you discussed, and as you can see, it worked just fine and I think right now Leon does not want to show his hand yeah. he would like to keep it secret he's hanging back maybe just a little tiny bit remember he led convincingly right at the start of this one and again I, I don't know what to tell you about this order I think Zoke is kind of sitting on this one waiting to see how it plays out and there you can see Garan has faded to fourth Elliot Fair up to a very strong fifth on his Yamaha R6 and we'll be back for our thrilling completion here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park Portions of this event are brought to you by Kawasaki, Pro 6 Cycle Track Days, MotorcycleCourse.com, and Revs for Rent, CSBK's official charity. Jordan Zoke leading Kenny Reedman and Michael Leon here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park in race number four of the 2020 CSBK season and up towards turn number two they go Reedman being very patient sitting back in second spot and I think equally so Michael Leon is showing a great deal of patience here we're at that part of the race we've seen this so many times at Canadian Leon Tire Motorsport now around Park. the outside no no didn't quite oh he's trying again up through turn number three can't quite get it done. He looks behind him as he tries to make a pass on Reedman. Didn't work. And we can now say with authority that Michael Leon knows that Samuel Garin is no longer close behind. He's faded back from this lead group. So the rookie pro who's shown so well this weekend doesn't look like he's on for a podium. But I think everybody's kind of biding their time, doesn't want to show their cards, wants to wait it out. Of course, Zok always likes to lead, but I don't think he's pushing the pace too hard as they slipstream up the back straight, but nobody's setting up a pass even though I think the second and third place bikes probably could. Well, Garan not even in sight uh, uh, that time as we picked up the footage coming out of uh, Moss's corner. So I'm going to suggest it was more than a wide corner that, that affected him, Colin. Something has gone wrong. Heading through turn nine, uh, getting ready to start another lap, and they can't be closer than they are right now. And I think that if anything, Leon's the impatient looking one. He's been looking here and there with Reedman trying to set something up, and I think he doesn't want to be third as we roll on. But I, you know, I was critical of Zoke maybe slowing the pace, but he just set the fastest lap of that group of laps. So good work by Jordan, our leader. Reedman running in second spot. Here comes Michael Leon. Now, don't, let's not forget that Michael Leon was leading this race for the first few laps, so he knows how to lead a race, and he has made the pass now on Reedman. Michael Leon, that was so nicely done. Beautiful pass. On board with Reedman here, and Leon is down. Oh, you almost like, like a little bit of rain there, Frank, as they head down the hill, and down goes Leon! Oh, my God, Michael Leon has crashed out. Oh, who could believe? This doesn't look good. Let's see the replay. We're on board with the Suzuki that's in third place. And then you can see there's a little moment for Leon. He settles it down. And it's just like maybe the track's slightly slippery. It washes out as he heads to the bottom of the chute in turn four. Here you can see him. He's really thinking about getting around Zoke and uh, just does not work out for him. And fortunate not to get hit by the bike and fortunate not to be injured as he got into the side of the tire wall. That was a tough one. Okay, the uh, medical people and, of course, the uh, most Sport Marshalling Service uh, getting that bike up and getting, most importantly, Michael up. Boy, I'm glad to see him on his feet, Colin. 
the race is obviously stopped so that the uh, corner crew and all the other workers can get involved. Now you can see some of the pack has stopped at the bottom of the hill on the back straight and you can see that the track does look a little wet in this section. The race has stopped and we are unlikely to continue and word has come down, yes, this is the completion of round four. We look at our results and Jordan Zoke has taken his fourth straight win in 2020. Perfect season so far. Reedman, Garant, Vieira, Bernhard, Tremblay, Murray O'Dan, Van Eck, and Matthews completing our podium. Now let's hear from our winner, Jordan Zoke. Nothing surprises me with turn four. You know, you always come in over there and you see a wall of rain, and it's the same thing that happened to us today. You know, and uh, unfortunately, Michael went down, and uh, it, it really catches you off guard because it's not raining anywhere else on the track, and, and it always does that here. You know, I was pushing hard, and it was, it was spitting a little more up in 8, 9, and 10 on the windscreen, and we were doing... Uh, almost qualifying times that we did this weekend uh, the track is a little slower this year uh, the speed the, the times but we were right at the, the qualifying time still when it was spitting so I was kind of more keeping an eye on turn 9 and 10 for the rain to open up and uh, caught me a little off guard into four as well and I, I you know I felt that if I could have put another three or four laps in at those paces we were doing that I might be able to actually get away from the guys the bike didn't didn't scare me all weekend. Didn't have a single moment. It was underneath me comfortable. I'm pretty confident that with a few more days on it, I could push harder and go a bit faster. But yeah, just super happy to be here, get to race a motorcycle. I wasn't expecting to be able to do this this season. Unfortunate that that race ended with a red flag because I feel like if we were able to kind of go up the back straight on the last lap, I felt really strong through eight, nine, and 10 on that Suzuki. And I really felt like I could have given Jordan a run for his money, but that's how it goes. I'm glad that Michael's okay. And uh, yeah, had a great weekend. I could have done this year, Amata win the championship like the regular uh, style, but I think that's uh, that's the best move I did. I, and it's uh, kind of a good season to do it. There's uh, fewer drivers and it's uh, a bit less aggressive because it's not a full grid with a lot of sound and a lot of noise. So everything is more calm and I, I think it's uh, yeah. It's, it was a good time to to move. That was my goal. I I didn't know if it was possible, but I, that was my goal to to be on the box and yeah. And the next goal is to be on top. And after what we've seen today at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, two podiums, Garand's next goal does not seem far away. As we look at the point standings, and Jordan Soak is solidly ahead, but look at that, Garand in second. What an effort by the rookie pro. What an effort by Sebastian Tremblay. We didn't see much of him in this race, but third overall on a Kawasaki 636. Well, that wraps up round four. Thanks so much for being with us, fans. We offer a big uh, vote of thanks to our friends at the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. And on behalf of the entire CSBK crew, Colin Fraser and myself, Frank Wood, thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time round.